Hey, I'm Mike. Welcome to my camouflage easy chair. Nowadays it seems like every time you head to the sporting goods store, and that pesky clerk's been through there since your last visit, mark those price tags up a little bit. And with the skyrocketing cost of fuel nowadays, it can sometimes be hard to make it through the work week and still have enough left over to enjoy your favorite outdoor activities on the weekends. I've come up with a few money saving tips that I'd like to share that may help stretch your budget and get you out in the field a little more often. One way to spend a little more time on the water without breaking the bank is by taking advantage of the early season trout stockings. You can usually find a lake or stream close to home that will offer some good fishing. Look at it, look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Sucker fish. <laughs> look at that sucker fish. He's a trophy sucker. Well, <laughs> he's not quite a trout, is he? But hey, it's early spring. It's fun to catch some fish no matter what they are. That's a little more like it. Oh, what was that? Oh, I missed him. Rats. He bumped me a couple times now. Let's see if I can get him. He's laying right in there by that log. Oh, what happened? I missed him again. Oh, and he got my bait this time. You need some worms? Yeah, toss me those nightcrawlers, will you? Yeah, you got it. Okay. Here you go. Fishing tackle isn't the only thing that's getting expensive. While you can certainly fish for trout with the expensive baits on the market, I found worms work quite well. And if you're like me and do a lot of fishing in the spring season, you can order your nightcrawlers in bulk and save yourself some money that way as well. I anxiously await the arrival of my night crawlers every spring. I keep them in one of the many prepared bedding mixtures available on the market. These are all fairly easy to prepare for your worms. You simply add water and mix the water and the bedding together well. I put the bedding mixture right back into the shipping container the worms came in.
and this makes a convenient home for them during the fishing season. You want to add the worms gently to the top of the bedding. And just lay them out on top. And I like to prepare several containers for a smaller number of worms that are ready to roll any time I want to hit the water. I'll keep about two dozen in each one of these smaller ones. Don't forget a few air holes so your worms can breathe. Of course you'll have to keep your night crawlers refrigerated, but other than that, they require very little care. You'll have to change the bedding and remove the dead ones once a month, but that's about it. And using this method, you'll find bait cost you about half of what it would if you bought it retail. Hey, what, you got another one? Yeah, just fishing right in this uh, little debris jam here where all these sticks are. He must have just been hiding in there. So there's a few being around. Yeah, it seems like just walking from hole to hole is, you know, seems like they're just spread out up and down the creek here. Yeah, kind of like get one and go type fishing. Yeah. Do you want to move on down, down the creek this way? Yeah, I think we'll keep moving, see what we can find. There's got to be some more in here. Yeah, I got that sucker. Oh, he's going to get the branches. I'm going to fall into a creek. <laughs> nice little trap. Rainbow. Well, while catch and release is a noble activity, it's important to remember that creel limits were established to allow an angler to take home a few fish for the table. And there is no doubt that a stringer of trout will go a long way towards shaving a bit off this week's grocery bill as well. We hope to see you again soon.